name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I am able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Hollywood Bets Gravel, we're on the turf track on Sunday the 28th of November for a nine race card, the first of which kick off at 12 o'clock. There's been a bit of rain around, the cut is likely to be out of the ground, so we can expect good to soft conditions at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Sunday. The first race does not form part of the exotics. It's a maiden plate for fillies and mares over 1,400 meters. And before Rahil and I get into the form discussion, let's catch up with a couple of reruns and an interview with Barbara Kennedy. We're going to show you Crazy Blues in action on its debut when finishing third on the 1st of November. And we're also going to show you Top Honours, who ran second at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the 14th of November. Miss Leolars on the inside. Flag of Wren towards the outside. Tintoretta down the inside. Ventriloquist. Cash is the leader. Miss Leolars a big runner. Down the inside. Crazy Blues and Ventriloquist trying to run on. Miss Leolar there has taken it up. Flag of Wren running on from behind. Crazy Blues on the inside. But it's going to go to Miss Leolar. And Miss Leolar has won it. Second will go to Flag of Wren. It's close for third. Crazy Blues and Cashew. Butterflies trying to tighten up towards the inside. Top honours, rider looks across. Lady Eustace still got this half a length to make up. It's going to go towards the inside. Top honours is drifting towards the outside, but still has a length to spare. Lady Eustace making heavy weather it on the inside. That's going to come down to a close call. Lady Eustace, oh, it's very close. Maybe Lady Eustace on the post from top. Look, Cashew, she's a very consistent filly. Um, she always tries. Uh, we're trying the blinkers this time because, um, by all rights, she should have won by now. But, um, yeah, we just hope that she gets rewarded for this consistency this time. Welcome to the show, Rahil. The first race does not form part of any of the exotics, but obviously we want to get off uh, the meeting off to a winning start with uh, quartets, trifectas, etc. On the basis of Crazy Blue's debut run, we can expect improvement, but it wasn't a strong field and precious little to choose between Crazy Blue's and Cashew on the evidence of that form. Yes, I agree with that, Graham, and it's a tough race for me. I feel that there's quite a few horses with chances. I do respect the likes of Crazy Blue and Cashew, but I like Golden Grove, Global Secret, and even the 11 horse, Miss Gibson, in this race. So. From a quartet perspective, I think it's going to be a nice race to catch the quartet, but uh, it, it's a difficult race. I'm glad you've picked out number 11, Miss Gibson. I've given her more than just a, a, a little consideration in this race. She made a very nice debut when running on very strongly from near the back of the field, finished sixth under three lengths behind our Emily. Our Emily wasn't disgraced in a handicap debut during the week. And I think uh, number 11, Miss Gibson, certainly has got plenty of scope for improvement. And any market support for number 11, Miss Gibson, must be respected. Um, Royal Oasis, obvious claims. Global Secret, obvious claims. What do you make of top honours? Top honours, yes, I do respect, respect his last run behind Lady Usra, but it was, a weak, it was a weak race and it was second best. So it does need to prove a bit more for me to have a winning chance in this lineup, but definitely a horse that I'd include into trifectas and quartets. Okay, so there we go. The first race on the card is a maiden plate for fillies and mares. It's over 1,400 metres, the off time. First of nine races at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the turf on Sunday, the 28th of November. That goes off at 12 o'clock. The form lines are not strong, but it's reasonable to assume further improvement from number one, Crazy Blues, who's your favourite at two to one. Anton Marcus Rodo on debut, rides her again. But the blinkers go on to Cashew. That could certainly help her overturn the form of the last run. And watch out for a big effort from number 11, Miss Gibson. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet, who just want to be part of the change.